Welcome back to Running Gun Photography. I'm JT, and we're in Colorado to capture some stunning cherry blossoms, which are only in bloom for about two weeks out of the entire year, which makes them even more special to photograph. Our model for today is the talented Ashley Fay, and be sure to give her a follow on Instagram. Ashley's wardrobe is lightly inspired by a female samurai warrior of ancient Japan. And in true running gun fashion, we have a white bathrobe and some ribbon, but still managed to come up with a pretty cool look without spending any extra money. Our first location is a row of apple trees with fresh white blossoms. I'm shooting on my Nikon Z6 with a 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 to turn this single row of trees into an infinite apple forest. The telephoto lens and a wide aperture are allowing me to isolate Ashley and make her stand out among the blossoms. Now, I really like these photos, but I think we can take it a step further by adding our own light. In this case, a speed light and an umbrella. You can see the huge difference by adding a splash of our own light to the scene. I'm no longer worrying about a sea of white flowers overpowering our model. After getting a few shots that we're happy with, we're going to move on to our second location, a sea of pink cherry blossoms as far as the eye can see. Just kidding, there's a busy road right on the other side of these trees, and again we're going to have to use some compositional magic to create the fairy tale image that we're after. My ultimate goal for this photo shoot is to capture a graceful yet stoic female warrior surrounded by a soft and fleeting cherry blossom forest. So with Ashley standing on a step stool and our awesome lighting assistant Danielle holding our speed light, we're back to creating some stellar cherry blossom samurai portraits. I think this has to be my favorite portrait from the entire photo shoot. The overcast weather is giving us some beautiful ambient light. Pair that with some off-camera flash just to the left of the frame and we added some depth and saturation to our scene. Now I've truly learned a lot on this photo shoot, but my biggest takeaway is this. Don't forget to use light to tell your story. Surprisingly, all photographers forget to do this at some point. The right natural light can absolutely stand alone on its own, but in this case, I'm glad I added a touch of my own key light to really make the samurai stand out. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at my cherry blossom samurai photo shoot, be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single running gun video. And until next time, get out and go shoot. Mm -hmm.